Hi guys, Frido here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I review African literature. On today's video, I'll be reviewing the book I'm Judging You, The Do Better Manual by Lavo Ajayi. A bit about the author, she's a writer, speaker, and she's a digital strategist. She also has a podcast called um, Jesus and Your Love with Yvonne Orji, and she also has her own podcast called Runs and Randomness. And she's based in America. So the book is divided into four parts. There's life, there's social media, there's culture, and there's fame. And I would say she uses a lot of pop culture references. So if you're a, if you're a millennial, if you're Gen Z and Gen X, you'll be able to understand. If you're a boomer, you might need the Urban Dictionary, but it's not that hard to understand. So I'm pretty sure you'll be okay. So the first part, which has to do with uh, life, uh, the f I would say my favorite is the friendship one because it kind of shows you the kind of friends they are, and you could be that kind of friend because there's the fake friend, there's the mean friend, and there's the judgmental friend, the, the rude friend. You know the, the kind of different oh, friends. So whilst you're reading the book, to obviously understand and source the people in your life who you might think they're like fake friends or competing with you, you could actually also be the fake friend or the competitive friend so it's a self-help book in the sense that it helps you to see yourself in a brighter light uh, the second part which is to do with culture is uh, the sub topics uh, on rape culture there's homophobia there's religion there's feminism and there's racism and how Africa is not a country and I would say my favorite would have to be the rape culture because after reading this book that's when I got the courage to write one of my blog posts which was viewed so many times called let's talk about rape shall we I'll make sure to leave it in the description box so if anyone wants to read about it they can actually read about it too and it also talks about religion how they're different religions and how people coexist because I believe we are all aware that there's so many different religions and it also talks about uh, feminism how the fem that there's no Olympics for feminism because there was a certain time when I wasn't sure if I was a feminist or not because I believe the word the word has been defined so many times it's quite hard to know if you're a feminist or if you're not so I think even if you're a man men can also be feminist if you don't know if you're a feminist or not i think you this this chapter would actually help you you don't necessarily need to read the whole book to understand each and every single chapter or each and every single subheading but if you want to like read something that is direct or if it's to do with racism you can just go on the racism um subheading and read about racism and how um she kind of opens the discussion to actually understand more about racism and also to do with the rape culture as i've said before uh to do with um africa not being a country they're like 54 independent countries so that will help a lot of people because i'm one of the people who judges people who think africa is a country it's a whole continent the second most largest continent in the whole world so i don't think that would be one country it's quite logical so the third part has to do with social media so she talks about um hashtags people who overuse hashtags or people who overshare on social media um and people like real g's who move in silence like people who share the things but not that much and under the real, I think my favorite uh, subtopic would have be would have to be the real G's moving silence, because she talks about people who overshare, so it's kind of like a paradox in a way. She kind of talks about over people who overshare, like uh, people who overshare about the body fluids, people like um, the new parent oversharer, the work oversharer. You get to know each and every single details about their lives, and then she also talks about people who are. Uh, who don't have like e-behavior, who don't have manners on uh, social media, people who um, bully other people because I think the inspiration behind this book was after someone stole, I think it was like um, she posted something on a blog and then someone copied like word for word what she had written and then I think he put it in the magazine or something so that kind of inspired her to write a do better manual as to why people should do better and have manners and that kind of thing and the fourth and final part will have to be about fame fame um the 15 second fame the popcorn fame or microwave fame as people call it uh, how people expect to be famous just like that 
which is quite possible but in this uh age and time and age people are doing them thinking for just to be famous so she kind of talks about that she touches on that subject on how people are doing the most uh to be famous and also how true fame is not really measured by the kind of the likes that you have but it's more to do like with the quality of the work that you do so i would highly recommend this book if you're someone who would just want to like to read because the thing is with this book you don't really have to read all of it to understand all of it you can just pick any anything you need to focus on at that moment in time so it's a book which we can you can keep reading over and over again depending on the topic that you choose and if you choose to read the whole of it because it is quite funny but uh, whilst it's also funny it kind of opens uh, this vast discussions on so many issues deep issues deep rooted issues which um uh topics we need to talk about so i think it's very so i would recommend this book due to the fact that if you're not a huge reader you don't necessarily like what i said before you don't necessarily have to read the whole of the book it's in certain chapters so you can just focus on which one you want if you want to read about life you can go on life and friendships you can go on friendships if you want to read about fame you can go on fame if you want to read about culture you can also read you can just go on culture and just read something about that so i would recommend this book as a self-help book because if i'm being honest this book has helped me given me the courage to write some of my controversial posts on my blog not controversial in the sense that i'm attacking people but it was more of venting and being entirely honest after reading this book and Malcolm X biography, trust me, you have all the confidence you need in the world. So I would really recommend this book. And also, especially if you're African, I know how we judge people on the low or directly. This is definitely the book for you because it's either you're judging someone or you're being judged. So it's a do better manual in the fact that you can also see yourself. Like what I said before, uh, with the friendship thing, if you're someone who's secretly competing with your friend, you can also see that. If you're someone who's jealous of your friend, if you're someone who puts on a mask and says that, oh, I'm an honest person, but in reality, you're just being mean or using other people's insecurities to, you know, try and degrade them. So this is the kind of book that you need. And also, if you need to know more about feminism, because uh there was a point in time when i was confused about what feminism is feminism is and i got to read more in this book and there is another book which i read on that which kind of helped me to gauge and see if i'm a feminist or if i'm not if i have certain beliefs when it comes to feminism or not and also one of my favorites is on um i think it has to do with the homophobe part the part which really stood out for me was like how things like hygiene or something wearing like or some sometimes wearing um a color that is like quite vibrant on men is uh perceived as gay so don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time bye